One way that you can give yourself an advantage at a fishing tournament that is often overlooked is being comfortable when you're not fishing. That means getting a good night's sleep, having a good dinner, and most importantly for me, being warm. As you guys know, I hate being cold, which means that I really don't like camping in a tent. So to overcome all of that, we have an RV that we take, and I'm gonna show you guys around it so you can see what it's all about. So this is our RV. You probably saw it on the channel if you watch any of my uh, tournament coverage back from January at Lake Shasta. But this is a dual purpose RV for me. Uh, we use it for our family as well as for any fishing tournament where we're actually able to get it into a spot, um, whether it be kayak or for uh, our boat side. And so me and Tony, we work collectively together to make sure we can transport the RV. My truck is big enough, so I have to take the RV. His truck is not, so he either needs to take the boat or the kayaks just depending on which term it is. So let's go inside and show you around. So as we walk into the door, uh, we're greeted with one of our hangout spots, which is the couch. Right here, we have a TV and we've got our internet and um, Google Chromecast and everything so we can connect to there. Immediately under that, we have an electric fireplace, which is really great, especially now since it's cold. This is where we do all of our kitchen, our, all of our kitchen stuff and cooking. Um, we try and do most of our cooking outside though, um, just so we can keep the smell out and keep it nice. And then right here is our table. Um, you can see my chair right there. Um, I take that outside. It's really big, so it can't fit in the storage here easily under the RV. So I just keep it in here. But there's our table. This is where we do all of our pre-fishing planning and looking at charts and everything uh, when we're together. And then in here, which is one of the features that my wife and I really like, is that it's got a half bathroom and it's got access straight to outside. So this is the children's bathroom or Tony's when he's with us. Uh, but we like it so we can allow people to use the bathroom without dragging mud and everything through our RV because we like to keep it clean. Back here is where Tony stays, and this is also the kids' room. It's got four bunks. So you got one up there, one there, and then two there. This one's a little bigger, so I think that's the one Tony sleeps on. And sometimes we have a uh, another person, James, who fishes with us. I'll link his YouTube down below, so go ahead and check him out. Give him a subscribe. He could probably use it. Um, he's not on our team, but he's one of our good friends. He lives fairly close to, close to both of us, so uh, he stays with us from time to time. Then, as we move down this way, in here, we've got the main bathroom, which has the shower. And so this is my bathroom and then my wife's bathroom. And then of course, anybody who needs to take a shower. And then straight through here is our room. We have another electric heater. And then we've got our queen size bed and everything that we need in here. So that's pretty much it for this walkthrough. Um, as I said in the beginning of the video, having a comfortable place to stay is an often overlooked part of fishing, especially in the fishing tournaments. Um, everything you can do gives you just that little edge um, and makes things so much better and gives you a little bit better chance to win. So that's it. Catch you next time.